Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to give you my top three tips on rapidly adding levels to your beat test, ready to go for the Army Assessment Center or AOSB. I've picked these three tips as my top three because of the feedback that I've had from subscribers that are now in basic training. So they followed my other tips. These are the three that have helped them the most and really added levels to their beat test score. So tip number one is make the distance longer. So stop doing your 20 minute beat test, your 20 meter beat test, and get into a 22 meter beat test. Now, I understand that initially your score will drop, but what I want you to do is run the beat test at 20 meters and then remember that score. From then on, advance to 22 meters until you get back up to that level. Once you're back up to that level, reduce it by the two meters again, back to your normal beat test, and you will see that you will improve greatly. It will really, really add levels and stages to your score. Tip number two, is high intensity interval training. Now, there are a lot of components to the beat test, whereby it goes through all different parts of your cardiovascular system. You're gonna start off slow, then you're gonna get faster and faster. And that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your heart, pumping that oxygen around your body. So what you want to do in that case is also have the rest of your body really functioning as good as possible. So therefore, you're gonna do high intensity, you're going to really start stabilizing and working on your core, and you're also going to start really building up your quads at the same time, ready for those turns as you're moving around. So you wanna be getting in lots of burpees, lots of squats, press-ups, pull-ups, if you have the facility to do so, either at a gym or with a pull-up bar at home that will really add strength to your body. And when you are hanging out towards the latter end and you get into your absolute maximum, you will be able to do those extra couple of lengths because your quads will be strong, hamstrings, your core, and you will really put the work in for that. And of course, it'll get you fit. And because it's high intensity, those intervals that you take a, a little rest with, that'll teach your body to get your heart rate down as fast as possible. And tip number three, hill sprints. Hill sprints are an absolute must in everyone's fitness plan, if I'm gonna be honest with you. You are gonna do no more than 10 to 15 hill sprints. I do have a video on my channel. And what you're gonna do, you have to make sure that you are sprinting up that hill. So if you find you get into a point where you're really, really slowing down and jogging, you need to shorten the distance of those sprints. You need to be sprinting up those hills and then jogging back down the hills to your start point. Once again, it'll rapidly increase your CV and also build strength within your lower limbs for that bleed test as well. So those three tips, if you take them on board, incorporate them, into your training plan for the beat test, you will rapidly add levels onto that beat test. Of course, you need to eat right at the same time and don't do the beat test too often. Once, twice a week, it's absolutely plenty. But if you do have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section. Take care, bye.